Hey, this is Chaz with Vera Wolf Gaming. We're going to do a little review on Call of Duty Black Ops 6, so stay tuned. So I jumped on Call of Duty, and it looks like the reviews are not not very good. So um, when I jumped on it, I, I actually liked some of the, the features. I, I thought the shooting was really good and everything like that, and I love that you also have an option to turn off um, cross-play, so you can stay with Xbox and Xbox and PlayStation PlayStation. PC, which I prefer because anyone who's a PC gamer, they're going to kick your butt in Xbox or any console game. And um, that's usually what happens on any any multiplayer game if it's cross-platform. So I like that you have the option. Um, the zombies is almost classic, like, you know, running around in a circle. Um, you don't have to really board up walls, but you have to pay to get to the next um, section and stuff and kill a bunch of zombies. Um, I don't prefer that. I actually really miss already um, like the MWZ zombies because you had open space, you know, like so you don't get cornered or you didn't have to worry about, you know, getting stuck on a wall or something while shooting and trying to get away from zombies. And I, I like being able to get away and doing missions with friends on there was really fun. But it looks like they're just doing classic zombies, the running in a circle kind of funneled, which I'm I'm not into. I, I think that they should have both, to be honest. Um, so you have both options. You can do the classic zombies and then, you know, almost like the MWZ zombies, which, you know, I think a lot of people really enjoyed. Um, I, I want more maps. You know, that was the only issue with, like, the older Call of Duties. Like, for zombies, they had, like, two maps. Um... And it looks like they only have a few, but that could be because they're just getting started. Um, but it's a lot of money for a game that's not complete. That's what it kind of feels like. And it, it doesn't look like too, too many people are really happy with how this one's panned out so far. So we'll see what happens. Um, there is some new features you can use. Uh, you can go up behind someone and use them as a shield, which I thought was kind of interesting, and shoot at the same time. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know um, if that's something people are into, but it's it's definitely a new feature. Um, there There is a few really nice maps, but it doesn't seem like anything new from what they have done before. It looks like a lot of classic stuff just kind of meshed together. So we'll see what happens with all of this and see if they add some more stuff. But um, it looks also like the packs, hopefully... Um, so far the packs guns that you get so if you buy a pass or a pack um, they do not you know wreck the guns that you come with you know at the beginning of the games um, so like if you're just playing basic and you don't want to pay any microtransactions and stuff it's not gonna be like man of war which destroyed everybody's basic guns because <laughs> that, that had some crazy range on it um, so I think that's good I really hope that they stick with that because no guns that people buy should be able to, you know, outplay players that don't want to pay for the microtransactions. I think skins should still be involved, which I think, you know, those are fun. I even bought some um, on previous Call of Duties, but it looks like your skins from your old one will not transfer to the Black Ops 6. So just forewarning, if you haven't played it yet or bought it yet, your skins are not going to transfer. So far, I don't know if they're going to adjust that or if that's just done did. Looks like they're trying to start from a clean slate but it doesn't look like anything impl was implemented that was new. Um, I don't really see much new stuff or something new that, you know, Call of Duty has recently developed. I mean, it's kind of the same stuff, um, but I do like the shooting. I like, you know, the setup so far, um, but I mean, just just play it at your own <laughs> at your own risk. Look at reviews, you know, do your research first before you buy it and see if you like it. Um, I really hope that they come up with something unique you know, we definitely need that. And I like that it's neutral. Um, there isn't any left or right wing, you know, any agendas or anything. It's just to play. And that's how games should be. They need to be just games. That's what we do to escape the real world sometimes. So I hope that they really stick with that. I think we need some fresh new ideas. I think a lot of things are the same and no one's really coming up with anything really unique. They're kind of either copycatting or um, replicating previous things. I'm all about remastered stuff and cool stuff like that, you know, um, but I really think that all games across the board definitely need to be something new and different and not, you know, one 
theme to the other. It just it just needs to be something unique, and nothing's really exciting anymore. So I really hope um, you know Call of Duty and other game developers really figure that out. So um, tell me what you really think about Call of Duty Black Ops Six. What's your opinion on it, or what do you think would make a, a better Call of Duty, or whatever in the comments. So. I really appreciate your guys' help, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, hit that like and subscribe button, and I will have some more videos out soon, so I will catch you later.